What it is, everybody. Gonna do some JB tonight. We're gonna do Papa Got a Brand New Bag. All right. So, simple blues progression for this one. Okay, when I say blues progression, I'm talking usually one, four, five. First chord is the one, the fourth chord is the four in the scale. I'm talking about in the scale now. So, give you an example. This song's in the key of E. So, this is the one. Okay, this is the first chord. This is the one chord. This is in the key of E. Now, when you go to the the fourth chord in that E scale, that is the A. That's in this song. That's the second chord, right? So you have E first, then you go to A, and then you're gonna go up to the five chord, which is the B. Which is, you know, when you're playing blues, those are the main chords that you'll run into. Of course, with other blues songs, you'll run into other different progressions, but it's basically one, four, five. Okay, so let's jam a little bit. Okay, so we have that E chord, we have the A chord, we have the B, so Papa got a brand new bag, da -da 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 -da. So now that is close to the original bass line. Of course, I probably didn't play it exactly right because I never play stuff exactly right unless I need to. Okay, I like to leave a little bit of freedom in there for me to do other stuff. But if I played along. <laughs> So it works. That's the bottom line. People get up. Dang, dang. But here's the thing. Most people, when they play this song, they don't play that bass line. They play whatever they want to play. So this is, a, this is the whole reason for this video. This is one of those songs that you can kind of play your own bass line. Okay? You can, I mean, there's so many different bands covering this song that's released it on CDs and albums and things. You can listen to their bass player, how they did it. You can do the version of the song that they do. You can do James Brown's version. You can make up your own version. As long as people dance to it, who cares, right? That's the bottom line. This is a groove tune. This is a dance. People like to dance to this tune. So you, you just, that's your only job is to make people dance to this tune. So you don't have to play the James Brown bass line. So that's my point here. So I could say if I didn't want to play James Brown, I could just kind of make something up. And this is what I want you to do, too. So you can play something like that. You can play something simple. So you can make up whatever bass line that works for your band. You for works for you and your band. Okay? So um so basically the only th rules to this in my opinion 
is when you're playing this kind of song, you want to keep it nice and tight while the uh, singer is singing through the verses and, and the choruses and all that. Keep it nice and tight. But when somebody solos, because this is a song people like to solo because it's so simple. Okay, so you'll get a guitar player wanting a solo. You'll get a horn player wanting a solo. you get a keyboard player wanting a solo. You'll get maybe even a harmonica player. Who knows? What uh, Any kind of solo instrument, they'll, they'll love to solo over something like this because it's fairly simple. Okay, so that's when you can stretch out. Depending on where this, the solo is going, you got to listen. You got to listen to what the solo person is doing. Sometimes they'll start slow, and you know, and and then they'll build up to something more dramatic, or they'll come in just full ball, you know, full bore, just right on it. And that's that's what you got to be listening. You got to be listening to what's happening. Okay, so that's why I always tell you guys that ears are important. You got to be listening at all times. You're paying attention to what the drummer's doing. You're paying attention to what the keyboard's doing, singers, all the instruments in the band. Okay, and your job is to tie it all together from the drums. You're tying it all together. You're the glue as a bass player. Okay, so if uh, somebody's soloing, you can keep it simple like I just did. You can get really busy too, to where it's like crazy. <laughs> You can you can stretch out. Just pick your spots. Like I always tell you guys, pick your spots. Okay, so the reason I would, like I said, the reason I picked this song because a lot of blues songs are like this. You got this. That's why guitar players and certain instruments, saxes and certain instruments, love blues because it's it's very uh, simple, but it's it's deceptively simple. Okay. I mean, it's a lot of room to do stuff, but it's um, you can easily fuck blues up too by overplaying and not having a, a good feel for it. Um, so <clears throat> you got to be uh, you got to use your ears, have good groove, pay and pay attention to what's going on around you. Okay, so great song by James Brown. I'm gonna do more James Brown songs because that's the funk. Okay. That's where the funk comes from. Okay, so uh, like I said, with this song, you play the original bass line. Definitely do that, and that'll work. Or you can make up your own. Okay, depending on your band, your style, whatever works. As long as those people are dancing and bobbing their heads, that's all that matters. And that is your bass lesson for today and your lecture for today. From Professor D. Luca. Baby, make sure you like the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the channel, share the video, like uh, ring that bell. Uh, what else? And then uh, let me know if you got any other suggestions. Okay, only deal with the hits, y'all. No obscure shit, man. You know obscure shit, unless it's super funky. Got to be funky, super funky. But it's got to be something that I know that you guys could all get some use out of. Okay, No crazy onesie, twosie stuff that nobody but you care about. Let's, 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 let's pick stuff that everybody wants to hear. And, you know, we'll go from there. And that is it. I'll catch up with you next time. Later.